What do you make of what's been said by uh, certain leaders in the EU and by Donald Tusk today? I think what Donald Tusk has said reaffirms what um, Michael Barnier said when the Brexit Select Committee went to see him recently, that the customs arrangement and the common rulebook don't actually work from the EU's point of view. It's essentially their version of cherry-picking and it's a non-starter. And everyone expected that there would be some softening of Monsieur Barnier's line. That hasn't happened. It's been made firmer. And I think Chequers now has no supporters at all. I doubt even the Downing Street cat is any longer backing the Chequers plan. Theresa May has said that she is going to come forward with new proposals, maybe more concessions. What do you think of that? Well, the proposal she should come forward with is a comprehensive free trade agreement, which has been offered to us by the European Union, and solutions for the Irish question along the, the lines of those put forward by the European Research Group, which I chair, which came up with some very workable answers to the Irish question last week. So do you think the prospects of no deal are increasing after this or do you think this is partly tactics by the EU to put pressure on the UK in a negotiation? Well, so far in the negotiations, every time the EU has dug its heels in, it's got what it's wanted. So you would understand why, from a tactical point of view, the EU has been quite stubborn. But I think the time has come for Mrs May to say uh, this is not going to work, Chequers has not landed where I thought it would, we need to go back to the Lancaster House speech, back to doing trade deal, and that's deliverable and could be passed into law, the House of Commons would be sympathetic to it. But if we leave on World Trade Organization terms, that's not the end of the world, and we save £40 billion of taxpayers' money.